Howdy folks, Papa Kicks here. Today we're playing Grounded. It is a really fun game, and I wanted to showcase some of the accessibility features that are within the game. Grounded is a game where you are shrunk down to the size of a ant, and basically you have to explore the backyard of, I'm not even sure whose house it is, but who cares? So you explore the backyard, you face insects, different types of monsters and stuff like that, and you basically have to unravel the mysteries of the backyard and what exactly is going on. But today I wanted to showcase with you some of the accessibility features that are within the game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in. So today I'm joined by my daughter Harper. Say hi, Harper. Hi. Always a delight. We love playing this game, play it all the time. It's a wonderful game. Yeah, it's scary. It is scary. It is definitely scary. The fact that you are the size of an ant and that the spiders and the ladybugs, I know they don't sound terrifying, but they seriously are. Roly polies are in here, uh, larva, all sorts of different stuff. So it's a very, <laughs> it's a very scary game. But what's so cool about it is that it's got so many different accessibility features in it. So for instance, uh, right now I'm on the home screen and you've got the options for single player, you can play by yourself, you've got multiplayer, which is what we're gonna be playing tonight. Then you've got options. And under options, there is an accessibility tab that you can go to that contains a whole slew of different options that, that are available. So for instance, we have arachnophobia safe mode. So I'm gonna show the spider preview real quick. So that's what the spiders look like. That's an orb weaver spider. So if I turn on the arachnophobia safe mode and I keep going, it starts to lose its legs, then it starts to lose its fangs, and then eventually it becomes something that doesn't even resemble a spider whatsoever, right? Just looks like a big old marshmallow. So pretty cool thing uh, if you have arachnophobia to be able to eliminate that factor of the game. Uh, secondly, you've got a colorblind mode, okay? So the colorblind mode has different options uh, based upon uh, deuteranopia, protonopia, and tritonopia. So you've got your red-green uh, color blindness, and you've also got your uh, yellow-blue color blindness covered there. Highlight objects, none, items only, not base buildings, and all. Uh, basically what this allows you to do is change which objects will be highlighted when you look at them. Wide interaction uh, is the next option here. You can turn this on or off. Basically, if you have dexterity issues, this is really important because you can interact with nearby objects even when not looking directly at them. So if you have dexterity issues, it's very, very important for you to be able to utilize that particular uh, feature. Uh, next is large text, basically increases the text of the UI. Next is Read to Me, uh, which is really, really neat. Uh, the game will narrate aloud the text content of on-screen elements. It also allows you to choose different speech synthesizers, such as Microsoft Desktop David and Microsoft Desktop Zira, for instance. So we're gonna stick with Microsoft Desktop David for right now. You can increase or decrease the speed of the Read to Me. Next, there's an option for subtitles. So right now I've got dialogue only on, but I can turn it on for all. Subtitle size and background. So in background, when this is enabled, subtitles will have a dark background in the HUD. And the last option is for chat. So you've got options for chat text to speech, you've got chat speech to text, and then you've got uh, the background here. So when enabled, the background will have a dark background uh, for you so that you can be able to, to perceive the chat better. So enough of that. Put Dilly Dally in here. Harper, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Get out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and start a new game here. All right, and continue. Uh, we have made a lot of progress in the game, but they actually released an update that reversed all of that progress and <laughs> made it so that we had to go through all of the story again, which is not a big deal. I do enjoy the story, it's really good. Let's go ahead and hop in here. All right, and I'm always Pete. All right, so now we have landed. All right, hey Harper. Hey. Hey. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. So why don't you go ahead and hop at that turret there and shoot a couple of pebbles at me. And... Ow! <laughs> Ow. God. No, no. Stop shooting me. Don't shoot. No, stop. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first 
thing we're going to showcase is the arachnophobia mode. So let's go ahead and see if this guy's oh, in here. Oh, yeah, she's in there. And it looks like a little... <laughs> oh, God! I'm not scared at all! <laughs> Come here. I'm terrified. Come here. Come here. Oh, I'm stuck. oh shoot. <laughs> You know what he looks like? He looks like tree sap. Well, she's dead. And she's done. All right. So now that we're on the accessibility menu again, I am going to showcase the Deuteranopia. So basically what it's doing right now is that if you have any type of red-green uh, uh, color blindness, it is changing the UI elements, it's shifting around the colors to make a little bit more high contrast and not have too many reds or greens in there. Go ahead and apply that, and I'm getting attacked by a little spiderling. Take that. So the few things that I see changed here are that in the scab, in the lower left-hand corner, it looks like my energy and my health, uh, those bars have changed, uh, as well as the thirst and the hunger. Uh, so it, it basically just changes around all the different uh, colors uh, to make them a little bit more perceivable for people with color blindness. Thank that! Oh god, a wolf spider's in here. Uh. So, if you're a little squeamish, sorry, this is what the wolf spiders normally look like. Um, uh, I'm just... Harper, I... I can't help you. <laughs> Give me my arrows back. I wasn't talking to you, Harper. I'm, you're, you're oh. You are a safe keeper of my arrows. Okay, so the next accessibility feature I'd like to showcase here is the highlight objects. So it's got uh, four different options here. So none, items only, not base buildings, and all. So if I were to choose none, basically what happens is that nothing becomes highlighted when I look at it, okay? So I'm looking at the beds, I'm looking at the chests and all that kind of stuff and the base uh, objects and nothing gets highlighted. But if I turn them on and let's say all, what happens is that everything becomes highlighted once I look at it. So that allows me to kind of orient myself uh, to know exactly what it is I'm looking at and what I can interact with. All right, the next uh, feature I'm going to look at here is the wide interaction. So when this is enabled, you can interact with nearby objects even when not looking directly at them. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle that on. Apply. If I wanted to interact with the pebblet turret, so let's say that I've got some kind of dexterity issue where uh, I might have tremors or something like that. What happens is that I'm not directly looking at the object, but I still can interact with it. So I can still hit the E key to use, right, and hop in here. All right, so the next feature that I'm gonna show you is the large text. Uh, so basically what happens is that all the stuff within the UI is going to be increased in size. Let's go ahead and toggle that on. And just so that you're aware, you can hit uh, W to apply the changes, or uh, you can hit X to discard, uh, Z to go back to the factory defaults, uh, and escape to close. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit W and apply. So what it does is that it has increased the size of elements within the UI. So I'm in the menu right now. Uh, I can see resume, save, player list, give up, etc. Uh, the text has increased uh, for me. The next accessibility feature is called read to me. And I'm going to go ahead and toggle that on so that I toggle. can showcase it. On. All right, excellent. Space so, bar for toggle. Six okay. of 14. Options. Let's see, U4, what, let's see what options we have here. Color arachnophobia safe mode. Excellent. So it's Slider. got its own built in screen reader. Zero space bar for change. One color blind mode. Drop down. None. Space Excellent. bar for change. So I can space bar to change. Two it. Of okay. Try deuteranopia. Protonopia. Tritonopia. Very cool. None. Highlight objects. Dro wide interaction. Toggle. Off. Tells me it's a toggle Space button. Space bar for toggle. Space bar to toggle. Four of Very 14. Cool. Large text. Toggle. Off. Read to me voice. Mm. Microsoft David desktop. Okay, so Drop if I want to do read to me voice, Microsoft go ahead and hit David Space desktop. Bar. Microsoft Zero desktop. Change it to Microsoft Zero desktop. Microsoft Zero desktop. Okay. Menu. Okay. So now I've got Microsoft Zero desktop voice. Custom game settings. So I can go through Space all the different UI options. Select. 
options. And Give it reads to me. Space bar so, for so built in screen reader. That's really fantastic. Button. Player list. Save. Auto saving. Simple bed. E for use. F for relocate. Hold X for recycle. Middle mouse button for copy. That is so Simple cool. bed. E for mem memorial to Weevil. Aw, poor Weevil. F for relocate. Simple bed. Memorial to Wes. Wes was my relocate. favorite Weevil. Hold X for recycle. Storage chest. E for open. Hold E for hot deposit. F for relocate. Hold X for recycle. Middle mouse button for copy. So Storage everything chest. that you look at. E for open. Provide you with the description. Grats workbench. Auto saving. All right. It even announces uh, some of the alerts that show up in the uh, left hand portion of the screen, which is really cool. So if I look at objects, what's really neat is that Garden it just patch. tells me exactly what I can do with those. So F4 I think that's relocate. really, really cool. All right. And as I mentioned before, uh, you can adjust the read to me speed uh, slower or faster if you'd like. All right, the next area are the subtitles. So right now, um, while Harper's eating, apparently, right <laughs> now we can set the subtitles to dialogue only, or all, or none. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to all. Again, hit W to apply. And I'm assuming that anything on the outside that makes certain noises is going to appear to me within the subtitles. I just see larva and Ow. like, oh God. Take that, and take that. Ew, gooey. So back when the game had just come out, there was what we like to call the larva gang that would show mm -hmm. up and would completely destroy our base for some yeah. reason. And it was a glitch that they had finally repaired in a subsequent release. I guess we weren't the only people who were experiencing it. No. So this is the big oak tree. So through the story, this is like a little platform right here, uh, which I believe is what's shrunk us down to the size that we are now. And our whole job is to fix uh, the contraption so that it works again so that we can become big again. Can't wait to become big again. I know. So you can also change the subtitle text size. So uh, if you want it smaller or medium or large, you can change the uh, subtitle text size. And you can also change the uh, background to make it a little bit darker. Right, so to make it a little bit more, uh, so if I were to do H4 again, what happens is that I've got a dark background around my character, so it's pretty cool. All right, and lastly, we've got the chat option. So there's a chat text to speech, a chat speech to text, and I can also do the background as well for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle on the background and toggle on the chat text to speech feature. Go ahead and apply that. All right, so apparently uh, after some testing, it appears that you have to have the read to me function on. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle that on. All right, so Harper, why don't you go ahead and say something? Harper May 69, you are a monkey man. Oh, thank you. Okay, lastly, let's go ahead and check out the chat speech to text. Okay, Harper, say something. Hi. Okay, awesome. So what, what's happening is that to the right of the screen, uh, it is displaying uh, in chat. Uh, what is she is saying audibly so that's pretty cool all right well i think that'll do it for today so i cannot say too many good things about grounded uh, i definitely do recommend that you check out the game for yourself it's got a lot of cool features uh, it's got great exploration adventure all sorts of great stuff so i definitely do recommend it and without further ado harper let's go ahead and sign off okay mm -hmm. and go so right now harper and i are clapping and then we give a big thumbs up and then we go woohoo and there we go all right yeah. cool excellent well thank you so much everybody for watching definitely do appreciate it and we'll see you next time bye, bye, -bye.